So in this video, we're kind of going to go over the uh, change directory command, how to you know how to move around the file, uh, the file system in Linux, some shortcuts, some handy tips. Um, but basically, anytime you log into a Linux machine, if you're not on the desktop, or if you are on the desktop and you open up a terminal, you're going to be using the command line interface, um, which you see in front of you. Uh, and I'm Bob on server one. So generally when you log in as a user, you're going to be put in that user's home directory. And you can tell you're in the home directory by this squiggly line or the tilde. Um, but now where do you go from here? How do you know what's in this directory? And how do you get uh, maybe somewhere else in, in, in this directory, right? Well, I'm currently in the home directory. This is where user configuration and their personal files are stored, right? And I know I have this uh, other directory in here that I want to get to, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna list what's in this directory. I'm gonna do an ls, and I can see I have directory two in here. Um, so how do I get to directory two? I can't click on it and, and open it up like I could on a desktop. Um, so then I would use the change directory command. I would use cd, right, directory two, and now I'm in directory two. Okay, well what's in this directory? I would use the ls command again to see what's in this directory. Okay, um, I want to get to directory 3. Again, I would cd directory 3. Oops. And I'm in directory 3. What's in here? It's empty, right? So then I've decided, okay, maybe I want to get back to that first home directory I started in. What's the best way to do that, right? There's multiple ways around this. Um, the easiest would be to do a change directory tilde, which is change directory home, because again, the squiggly line, the tilde, stands for the home directory, and I'm back in the home directory. So again, if I do an ls, I see I have directory 2 in the home directory. Uh, or maybe you have hidden files, right? How do you know if there is, you know there's a file or directory in this directory, but it's not showing up. How do you get it to show up? Well, in that case, you would do an ls-a. Oh, what I spelled that wrong. You would do an ls-a. And now I see I have some other files and directories have shown up that didn't show up earlier when I just did an ls. Um, and these are, you can tell they're hidden because they have they begin with a dot. Um, so maybe I want to ssh, or maybe I want to cd in there, .ssh. And now I'm in here. And is there anything in here? No, it's just an empty directory. Um, but you do see the dot and the dot dot, right? So what the dot is, the dot says this directory. In a Linux system, the dot means the current working directory. And the dot dot means the parent directory of this directory, right? So if I were to change directory dot, this would signify I want to change directory into the directory I'm in and nothing would happen, obviously. However, if I did a cd dot dot, now I'm back to the parent directory of the dot ssh directory, which is the directory directly before this directory, right? So say maybe I know where directory three is and I don't want to waste time by going cd directory two, cd directory three. I just want to go straight to directory three. Well, I could do a cd directory 2, right? And you can use tab to autocomplete things in Linux as well. So if I just type d and directory 3 is the only thing in here, it's going to autocomplete directory 3, right? So now I've changed directory to directory 3. And I've completely skipped over directory 2. And then if I wanted to go back, again, we know we can just do a cd home and I'm back to the home directory. Um, and there's another shortcut I wanted to show you. Um, so if you do a cd dash, right, what a cd dash is going to do is it's going to bring you back to the last directory you were in, and it's going to list that the directory as well, right? So say, you know, I was like, oh, what directory was I just in? I don't, I don't want to type out the full path. You could just do a cd dot or a cd dash, and you would, you would be brought directly back there. Um, and then if you 
kind of weren't sure where you were at. So say someone was like, hey, man, I'm looking for this file. I see you're in that directory. What directory is that file in? Well, for that, you could do a PWD. And that's going to it's gonna output where you are, what your current location is, the full path to that location. All right, so if I cd dot dot, again, to go back to my parent directory, which is directory 2, hit PWD, this is how you get to directory 2. You would go through home, through Bob, and into directory 2. Um, and that's, that's the basics of the cd command. That's how you're going to move around the Linux command line environment. It's probably going to be the most used command that you use. Um, but then what is what is this uh, hierarchy file system made of, right? Because I'm in a home directory, but what exists outside this home directory? Because every user gets a home directory where their personal files and configuration is stored. Um, but what other directories are there? Um, well, if we so I'll go back to root here. So I'm the root user, right? I can tell by the pound sign here as opposed to the dollar sign or a regular user. And I do an ls. Again, I know I'm in <clears throat> root's home directory because of the squiggly line. Um, but if I back, back, if I go back one, right? Do you see this directory here? You see this slash? That means I'm at the top of the hierarchy. The Linux file system is a hierarchy, similar to a tree, right? At the top of the tree, you have every other branch below it. And in those branches, you have more branches. So this slash denotes, denotes you're in the root directory. You're at the top of the tree right now. So if I do an ls, these are the directories or folders you're going to see on every Linux system for the most part. You've got the user directory where you know software shared libraries um, maybe program data uh, is going to be put your user commands are going to be in here you know if, if you go to cd user uh, bin you know i'm going to have a bunch of user commands in here um, if i go back one i have uh, sbin where the system administration commands are going to be and I'm also going to have local, which is where you know any local software I install is going to, is going to be put in there. So if I go back, um, what other directories do I have? I have I have the Etsy directory, which is where my configuration files for this system are going to be stored. So we can see you know any configurations I make for SC Linux or maybe RPM. X11, yum, those are all going to be in here. I have var, uh, and var is where variables uh, persist between boots, right? Um, logs, uh, website content, uh, maybe databases, those would generally be found under log or under var, right? So if I see the var. I do a dash dash, right? So if you do a dash dash in a directory, it's going to list all the different directories and files as an option. So I want to, maybe I want to look for logs, right? So I'll go cd var log, hit tab, hit tab twice. And these are different logs, right? I've got um, audit logs, boot logs, cron. Um, so then I'll cd, oh, I'll hit control c to just kind of cancel out the command I was typing earlier. And I'll do a, I'll do a, and I'm still in the root directory. I've got run for runtime data. I've got the home directory, which again, which is where users, personal data and configuration files are stored. I've got the root directory. This is a little different. Uh, roots home is not stored in home. Roots home is stored in, in the root directory. Got temp, which is kind of it's a temporary place to put things, um, things that haven't been touched in I think it's ten days, they get removed out of temp. Uh, I've got slash boot, which is where anything needed for the boot process gets put, 
And I've got dev, which is for de device files, things that need to access hardware. Um, so that's that's the basics of the you know the Linux file system and, and how you're going to move around it. Um, and I think next we'll go over uh, you know how to how to make directories, how to make files, uh, and and how to move those around as well.